Okay, hi everyone, it's Gonzel here. So today will be the uh, patch, day, patch notes update for the Taiwan server. We are actually getting the Archer. I know Korea got it last week, but we are about one week behind for Korea, which is such a good thing because we get to preview the content and then we get it the next week. Personally, I like this setup. Okay, so Archer. I have just streamed about two hours creating the archer from scratch and doing up all his skills and uh, basically leveling him and uh, I was trying out his, some of his skills as well I'll do a separate video just to talk about his the class itself but as of now uh, PvE wise I'm not really impressed by him I don't think he's that great but probably have to try out more I was also discussing with my guild, guild mates after the stream and the general consensus was also that his PvE is mid-tier, it's about mid-tier actually. But uh, I have not tried him in Arena, I'll probably have to try him in Arena and I'll try him in Battlefield Sun tomorrow. And I think those are the areas he shines actually. Arena, Battlefield of Sun as well as uh, Note Wars, sorry. So he is more of a combat, a player versus player content and PvP and GVG content basically. Which uh, if you are a player with going towards the direction, Archer is very good for you. And just FYI, the weapons for Archer, both the main weapon and sub weapon, are completely different from that of the Huntress. Okay. So these are the skills. I'll do a separate video to talk about that in depth. This is just extending the uh, Hadoom 50% event that we have. Reset of the Ramon season. UI changes here and there. Uh, there is a change where we can inter interchange the uh, materials for ancient accessories but it's only those sub subcategory uh, accessories or rather the materials which honestly speaking are not the ones that we are in la uh, having a lack of the one that is truly lacking is the uh, book or the pages Okay, one big buff, one important buff I would say is that the Aeon runes, the one that buffs the pet skill level, has been increased. So the orange grade gives orange or mystical grade from plus six to plus seven, red from red or abyssal from plus seven to plus ten, and ancient slash pink from plus eight to plus fifteen. So it's a uh, much more of an impact. This affects your boss pet, your pet levels, not just the boss pet, all the pet levels. Um, this is just cleaning up some of the monsters, changing some of the monsters, changing the name as well. Um, UI quality of life changes, nothing really significant. Yeah, these are just showing off the costumes for the uh, archer. Ah, okay, let's see. These are buff faces. Uh, nothing, nothing really important here. Yeah. So I guess the main update for us this time round is the new class Archer, basically, and uh, as well as the buff to the pet rune. That's about it. But of course, Archer as a new class itself is very welcome to uh, a lot of the Huntress players, because although I say his farming is mid tier, right? I think overall. Archer will be better than Huntress. So the Huntress players can definitely switch to Archer. But bear in mind that Archer is more like a mid-range character, whereas the Huntress is really far range. Although it says uh, far range here, right? But when you try out the Archer skills, right? His range is definitely shorter than the Huntress. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So you get more mobility, but you get less range. So it's sort of a trade-off. And this is just the Ascension. Awakening, I heard that uh, my guildmates are saying that the devs have said that they are not going to do the Awakening of Archer which I think is quite disappointing They say they want it to have a difference between the Huntress and the Archer I guess And I even heard that Striker Awakening, they say it's too difficult to do up the uh, summon of that, that Buddha thingy So it may be scraped after all, the Striker Awakening and Mystic Awakening so a bit of bad news there. Okay, let's so let's go to the per shop itself. Uh, the music is a bit loud. I feel like I have to compete against the music. Okay. 
So going back to the game itself, uh, as you can see, I'm on my hunt, un Archer, because I'm still trying to evaluate his PVE. But I more or less have concluded that his PVE is definitely not as good as uh, Lan Awakening and Tamer and Shine. But I'll touch on that more in a uh, Archer review after I try him out on more content such as like Battlefield Sun as well as the uh, Arena. Because Battlefield Sun would more or less be how it would be like for even the Note Wars and Siege Wars in terms of assessment. Okay. So let's go on to the per shot itself. So per shot for Taiwan this week is uh, five new packages. The most expensive one being this, where you get a whole ton of items: four thousand white pearls, four thousand black pearls, twenty k restoration scroll, which is very nice if you need restoration scroll, and a random chance at getting three red accessories. 11 chests that give you uh, RNG gacha chance of like uh, orange to pink dark runes which I can tell you most time is going to just give you orange maybe some red here one or two reds here and there 200 red light stone which is nice for the hardened potion 60k boss stem 30k restoration scroll so if I really need white pearls and black pearls I may buy this because uh, restoration scroll is always needed and let me just check the normal price of the 4,000 black pearls and white pearls. I think it's the same price. No, this is the 2,000. I don't think we have a 4,000, 4,000 package. Yeah, we don't have a 4,000, 4,000 package. It used to be that we have it. And I remember that the 4,000, 4,000 was close to 100 plus. But that was bad then. So, take for example, for the same price, you can get 8,000 white pearls. Now, 8,000 white pearls, you can take it as 4,000 white pearls with 8,000 black pearls, the equivalence value of it. So, if I go back to the package itself, it's not too bad because essentially you are paying 4,000 black pearls for 20k restoration scrolls and the random chance of getting one of these. It will take a lot of luck to get this and get this from this package and then get a pink rune from this so uh, after after a couple of times of gacha right i'm not that conf not that hopeful on this but like i said if i need white pearls i may buy this this is a cheaper version of this with the main difference being that uh it's more or less half the value but the black pearls is more than half it's less than half sorry then the number of chests you get here is 5, 100 red, red light stone. Boss times is only 25k instead of 60k. So if I if I divide it by half, right? If I multiply, sorry, if I multiply it by 2, right, it should be 50k if you want to make, compare the value. Uh, in return, there are two different items here, which is the 450 totem, 450 totems, and 500k relic fragments. So 500k relic fragments, right? If you're not too unlucky, it basically translates to about two to three red relics. So that's not too bad. All in all, this is like a cheaper version of this, but with slightly worse benefits because they want to entice you to buy this, yeah. So the difference is the red accessories and 30k, three red accessories and 30k boss stamps. Oh, sorry, not boss stamps. Restoration scroll versus 450 totem and 500k relic. So whether you want to buy which of it, right, it's really depend on what you need. So for, take for example for me, I do need the relic fragments if I want to pump up my relic. And totem is nice too for trying plus 8. So this is tempting, but if you double double this and you compare the value, you are still missing out on a bit in terms of the value. So really depends on how you see it. Myself, uh, I would say I'll be more inclined towards buying this or this depending on my budget. But I am trying to spend less on this game because I feel like uh, it's not as worth it to go pay to win now, especially with that balance change in, back in February. Okay, so this is a very simple package, 22.84 SGD, 800 black pearls, 10k boss stamps. Every time you buy two of these, they give you another 10k boss stamps. That's as simple as that. 
So effectively, you can think of it this way. It's like 44, 40, 45 plus SGD for 1,600 black posts and 30k boss stamps, basically. If you need boss stamps, um, even if you need boss stamps, right, I don't recommend buying this actually. Because the value is not that great. If you spend 100 on the other package and you get the 60k boss stamps, the amount of value you get is a lot more than this. Sushi. Okay, so this gives 1200 white pearls, 8 sushi stones, 3k restoration scroll, and a random chance at getting one of these. It's 10, 13, 18, 20 of the sushi stones. Uh, personally, I don't think this is great. Sushi st I think this is okay if you take for example you are a player just starting out in Taiwan server then this buying just one of these is a very helpful boost to your uh, sushi enhancement but for me right at my current stage right this is not something I would spend money on wait did I miss oh okay yeah so the next the last package that we, the last new package that we have here is the 800 white poles uh, Path of Glory Season 5, 4 tickets and 500 of the Path of Glory, the, the batch material The one is used to enhance the material, the batch And you get an RNG chance of getting these tickets um, Yeah, actually I should take a look at the RNG chance for these tickets Okay, hang on Okay, I found the uh, link that shows the percentage, right? It's, uh, it's officially from the uh, Pearl Abyss so the Path of Glory chest, right, it's 1% chance to get 5,000 of the material, 3% chance to get 15 tickets, 6% to get 10, so 20, 30, 40. So obviously the highest chance is 4. If you are not too unlucky, maybe you can get an 8. But you will be really lucky to get any of these 3. But if it's, is it worth to buy? Actually, I think yes, because the number of tickets you get is 8 from this. The worst case scenario, 8 tickets. Along with uh, 500 of the material and 800 white pearls for this price Compared to the usual package for the Path of Glory TK, right? This has a slightly higher value Maybe about 50-60% higher If you need POG then yes, this is something to buy This is something to consider buying I think for the new items this week, maybe this will be the only thing that I will buy and maybe this if any white pearl, but that's about it. Not gonna buy this two for sure. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, at least not for me itself. But for new players, then you can buy one package of this just to pump out your sushi enhancement stone. That's all. Okay, then other than that, right? The only other thing that's happening for us is that there is a boost to. There's a 50% off related to all the class change items Since there's an archer now right So they will give a 50% event every time they introduce a new class So this is 10k mileage instead of 20k mileage And likewise the same scroll right Instead of you can buy the same scroll for either 20k mileage or 20k black post So they have half it to 10k here And all the items related to the per shop Sorry to the class change are all halved here as you can see so this is this is pretty much regular a regular thing already. The last time they had Mewa awake sorry, Mewa Awakening, Lan Awakening, they also gave this 50% event. Yep. Okay, so that that is it for the per shot review for the Taiwan patch today. Nothing uh, in terms of content I can't say that there's nothing. After all we did get a new class, but other than the new class, there's not much things other than that. So Per shot review, also nothing uh, outstandingly fantastic except maybe this, but it's really high cost, so yeah. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. If you like the content, remember to like the video and click subscribe for more. Thanks, bye.